Hi, I'm Gaz. I make videos about lots of different things and in today's video I'm going to tell you how the Pet Shop Boys inspired me to get into the music industry. So stay tuned to the latest episode of the G-Log! Meet radio and television personality Gaz Reynolds, the founder of World Domination Records and Great Drive Driving School. Like, comment and subscribe to be part of the journey. This is Gaz Reynolds, the G-Log. The G-Log album is now on sale worldwide. Get your copy now, available at YouTube Music, Spotify and all major outlets around the world. Links in the description below. Welcome, Welcome to another, to another exciting, exciting episode, episode of the G-Log. I've been around in the music industry for about 20 years or more. I'm in other industries as well. Um, I like to keep my finger in a lot of different pies. I hope that didn't sound rude. <laughs> I've been around in the music industry for a very, very long time. I hope that doesn't sound like I'm an old man. There's many reasons why I went into the music industry and I won't be able to answer all of those questions in one video. So I'm going to do a series of videos of different artists that inspired my music and influenced my music and my songs and reasons why I went into the music industry but probably one of the main reasons is I love being in front of the camera and being center of attention. So today's video is all about one of my biggest inspirations, one of my biggest influencers, the Pet Shop Boys, a great UK band that were very much around in the 80s having major hits and they're still around today touring around the world very successful all the way around the world still banging out those hits in different countries the biggest influence for me was their album please and if you listen to some of my songs which i'm going to be playing some of them uh, throughout this video um, you can actually hear m many of the Pet Shop Boys influences in there. Now I almost worked with the Pet Shop Boys on a number of occasions but unfortunately every time we were actually going to work together they seemed to be going on tour or it clashed with, with my schedule as well so things never actually panned out. But, um, but I have been very inspired by the Pet Shop Boys and even to this day I just think they're a great act and I thought I'd make a video all about how they inspired me. So when I decided to start writing songs, I really didn't have a clue of how to do it and I couldn't even play any instruments and I remember my ex-girlfriend from many, many years ago, uh, she was quite good at writing lyrics and, well, actually there were more poems and I sort of created them into songs. But she bought me a keyboard and I started playing around with it but I just really couldn't get the hang of it until 1983 I believe when the Pet Shop Boys decided to release Please which is one of my biggest influences on my music that album and the Pet Shop Boys songwriting methods so I listened to that album over and over and over and over and over and over again I can't repeat how many times it was over and over and over again but it was quite a lot over and over and over again so when I started uh, putting pen to paper and started to develop my skills on the keyboard I decided to buy myself a drum machine and I decided that I wanted to be an electronic artist and the Pet Shop Boys were one of my biggest influences and that album Please really inspired me to write songs and if you listen to some of my earliest songs which I'm going to be playing you some of them a bit later on you'll see how if you're a Pet Shop Boys fan and I'm sure I'm going to get Pet Shop Boys fans watching this video you'll see how um, my chord structures and my stomp song structures were very very similar to the Pet Shop Boys then they're not a rip-off they're completely different songs however there was one song that they wrote called Rent on a later album which really inspired my hit record Electric Karma Sutra and funnily enough Electric Karma Sutra was re-released and remixed actually we reapproached it I worked with um, one of my producers Somiac and we came up with a totally new version of it and it was a hit around in various countries around the world so it's still a popular song to this day the album Please by the Pet Shop Boys which inspired me so much and actually really taught me how to write songs and, and how to structure songs and even how to play music because I literally I can't really it, it describe how much I've pulled that album apart 
And what I really loved about that album is the simplicity of it. Um, because the chord structures and the songwriting and everything was just really quite simple and basic uh, in comparison to productions of today and also in, in comparison to some of the Pet Shop Boys productions later on. And that's what I really liked about the whole approach of that album. And so it taught me to uh, be very, very simplistic with my songwriting skills, but to focus on melody. And that's what I very much did in my songs. So I'm going to play you a little um, snippet from my hit record, Electric Karma Sutra. Electric Karma Sutra, electric. 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 So as you can probably tell, even though it's not like a Pet Shop Boys record, it's very electronic and it's, it's very inspired by the Pet Shop Boys, very much so. Um, there, there are other influences in there as well, which I'm going to be talking about in future videos. Uh, also, it means that if I do more videos like this, I get more monetization and then I can make more videos and make more money. <laughs> you see, I'm smart, I'm clever, there you go. So another song that I'm going to play uh, to you now called In This House, I actually wrote at the time of when Please came out. So it's the same with Electric Karma Sutra as well. In This House was a song that was all about my teenage years and it was very inspired by the Pet Shop Boys and the album Please. And very fortunately for myself, later on I actually got involved with one of the most famous disco legends of all time, Viola Wills, who I managed to get on the album doing um, backing vocals. Now sadly Viola's passed away now and I have talked about her in a previous video. If you flick through my playlist you'll see the video. And Viola had so many hits around the world. In fact, she met the Pet Shop Boys on many occasions. Sadly, I never actually got a chance to meet the Pet Shop Boys, but I did talk to them on the phone and I did talk to their management. Like I said, our schedules never actually um, sort of worked or gelled together. So we never actually got the opportunity to work together, which was in my view, for me, really, really sad. But anyway, I'm gonna play you a little snippet from In This House. In this house, I can't wait to meet. My love for you is when I can stand here Come on, honey, come on, honey Come on, sugar, come on, sugar There's a lot of things you're good for So again, if you listen to In This House, you can really hear it's very, very electronic. It's quite different from the Pet Shop Boys, but in uh, structure-wise and song-wise, very, very inspired by that early album of Please and the way that the Pet Shop Boys actually structured their songs. I always focused on melody and I tried to have a sort of story in, in my songs. I still do to this day. So I still follow the same format, although I might do some variations. Anyway, another song that really does sound much more inspired by the Pet Shop Boys is a song called Where Will You Go? And this song is mainly sung in English, but I also part sung it in Hindi and Punjabi because I was very inspired by an Indian trip at the time that I went on and subsequently I went on quite a number of Indian trips. In fact, I actually toured there as well. But if you listen to the melody and even the music, probably sounds a little bit dated now but of course it was written years ago you can hear it's very inspired by the pet shop boys so here it is where will you go
But one of the biggest inspirations for me was the fact that I used to get really excited just hearing Pet Shop Boys songs, seeing them on TV, watching their videos, and even to this day, they, you can probably tell from my enthusiasm, they really, really inspire me. So I would love to hear from any Pet Shop Boys fans down in the comments section down below because, you know, to me, they're one of the best bands of all time, certainly in the electronic field. So that's the end of today's video. I've just given you a little bit of an insight into my music career. As I said, I'm going to be doing quite a few of these videos. So um, I'll be explaining sort of inspirations. If you have any questions, you can leave them down in the um, comment section down below. I will pick up on them and, you know, I might even use them in a future video. You never know. Today's positive shout out goes to Stacy Chamberlain. So there you go, Stacy. you've had your positive shout out. If any of my viewers would like a positive shout out, please leave comments down below. And I will do my very best to try and get you fitted in to a future video. Fitted? I hope that sounded all right. That's the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you soon. Hi mortals, I'm Jesus. You can now purchase Gaz Reynolds Presents The G-Log, album volume one from Apple Music, Spotify, and all major outlets around the world. Includes the massive hits Electronic Kama Sutra, I Only Hear You, and Dark Lady. This is one heavenly experience you won't forget. By the way, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification button so that you can watch every episode of the G-Log religiously. Out now, Gaz Reynolds' new album, The Wedding Album, as featured on Big Review TV and Radio Harrow. Available at iTunes and all major outlets worldwide.